Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll be learning about categories and tags. Before we start to explore categories and tags, it's important to understand the concepts behind them and how they differ. In a nutshell, categories and tags are used to sort your posts into topics so users can easily find the content they are looking for. Categories are used for main topics of your website. Think of this as having boxes to sort your posts into. Categories are hierarchical, so you're able to have subcategories to further sort your posts. Tags are used to further fine-tune categories and are usually much more niche than categories. Think of this as having dividers to further sort the contents in the boxes. To further illustrate this, if you are building a website about the contents of your room, we first need to come up with broad generic groupings for things in your room. You can create categories for shirts, t-shirts, jeans, shorts, cell phones, computer, laptop, headphones, however it gets messy very quickly. A better way would be to create a category called clothing and group shirts, t-shirts, jeans and shorts under that category. Create a category called electronics and group mobile, computer, laptop and headphones under that category. Say you have three pairs of headphones, would you create another category and group it under headphones? No you wouldn't. This is where we use tags. We can fine tune the electronics category by tagging the three pairs of headphones with their brand, make and model number. The reason we use tags is because the brand, make and model number of your headphones are so niche that if you created a category for it, only one item would be in it, in this case the said pair of headphones. This is like having a box but only putting a piece of paper in it. Can you do it? Yes you can, but it's not very efficient. Let's have a look at categories and tags in action. Every article in WordPress is filed under one or more categories. Clicking on the category will take users to an archive page showing all posts filed under that particular category. In the 2014 theme we are currently using, categories are displayed above the post title and tags are displayed below the post. There are two ways to create categories and tags. The first way is by hovering over posts on the left navigation and then click on categories. You are now in the categories sub panel and you can add, edit or delete categories here. To create a category, enter a name for the category, then enter the slug. A slug is the web address for this category. You can leave this blank and WordPress will automatically generate a slug for you. Enter a description if you'd like and hit add new category. You can also create subcategories, simply enter the name, enter your own slug if you'd like, choose the parent category you'd like to assign, then hit add new category. Any future articles that gets assigned to this subcategory will also get assigned to the parent category, letting users find that particular article in both categories. To manage categories, simply hover over the category. You can now edit, quick edit, delete or view the category. Clicking on edit will take you to the settings page for a category. You're able to edit the name, slug, parent and description for the category and once you're happy with the settings, click update. Quick edit will allow you to edit the name and slug for the category without going to the settings page. When you're happy with it, click update category. Clicking on delete will trigger a pop-up confirming this is indeed what you'd like to do. Clicking OK will permanently delete the category. Clicking on view will take you to the category archive page, which will list all articles filed under this category. When viewing a category, you can edit it by clicking edit category on the quick access toolbar. The bulk action menu allows you to mass delete categories. Check the box beside the categories you'd like to delete, click the bulk action menu, Select delete and hit apply. To quickly find a category, a search function is available on the top right. The second way of creating categories and tags is by going to the categories and tags panels when creating or editing a post. In the categories panel, you can view a list of all categories or you can choose from a list of most used categories. To create a new category, simply click add new category. 
enter a name for your category. If you are creating a subcategory, specify a parent category from the drop down menu. And when you're happy, click Add New Category. To add new tags, go to the Tags panel and start entering tags you'd like to add to your post. Make sure to separate each keyword with a comma. When you're finished, click Add. Your post will now be tagged with all keywords you previously entered. Just like categories, clicking on tags will also take users to an archive page showing all posts filed under that particular tag, and you can use the quick access toolbar to edit the tag. You can also edit tags by going to the tags subpanel under posts. At the top of the tags subpanel is the tag cloud, which shows all tags you are using with the most popular tag being shown in a larger font. Much like categories, you can create tags by entering a name, slug, and description. One thing to keep in mind is tags are not hierarchical, therefore you cannot have subtags or tags within tags, or tagception, as I'd like to call it. Hovering over tags will also bring up options to edit, quick edit, delete, and view the tag. You can also delete multiple tags by using the bulk action menu, and there is also a search function on the top right. Now that you're familiar with categories and tags, let's move on to featured images.